Ooh, okay, hey everyone, I am really tired, but here is the quick update video about everything I have done, the smallest things I've done to the Amazing Spider-Man 2 cosplay that I'm currently working on. So one of the major things I have done to this suit is add the web shooters. These web shooters were modeled by Andre Blend. I got these way long ago. And I was originally going to make a whole video about how I sanded it and primed it and sanded it more and then painted it. But these are pretty small things to the suit and you don't even really need them technically because I've seen a lot of the Amazing Spider-Man 2 cosplayers not even really have the web shooters, but I thought these would be a nice accessory. And in the model, Andre added magnet holes and I had the perfect size magnets and I just glued some magnets to the suit and they attach like so. This is actually the wrong web shooter. There we go. So they just attach nicely to the wrists Easy and simple, and I think they look great with them. Now, the next thing I did was uh, replace the waist zipper. I think you guys remember in my sewing tutorial, I mentioned a all-around waist zipper with an invisible zipper that you know you could hook on and zip around, but I found that it's not the best way to go about this suit, honestly. I mean, if you guys always have someone helping you, then yeah, go ahead and do the waist zipper, but on your own, it's actually pretty hard to actually hook on the invisible zipper uh, together and then zip all the way around. So what I did is I went with a T-zip. It's kind of like a U-shaped zipper, kind of like the waist zipper, but specifically with this suit, the way it has that middle zipper going up to the lower back, instead of having a waist zipper that goes all the way around, you had two invisible zippers that go to about the crotch piece. So they'll end right here, and then you just can kind of zip uh, those two zippers around your waist and you'll have a nice looking suit. And I was actually very surprised on how well it worked. Uh, granted, it, um, there are some places that, you know, it's not perfect, but honestly, um, who cares at this point? I am very done with it. <laughs> I am very tired and done. I'm just kind of... So I added that new zipper system in. I also replaced the zipper I broke on the wrist because that happened also. And then uh, just as I put the suit on for the first time and tried to put the mask back on the mannequin, uh, that zipper broke, so I had to redo that. Uh, that's what I spent like the last two hours doing. My God, I hate fixing zippers on Spider-Man suits. They're the absolute worst. It's all ready to be worn and stuff. As I mentioned, I already wore the suit once and it felt nice, it didn't feel too tight, it didn't feel too loose, it was exactly perfect. And soon enough, you guys will get the full video breakdown and me wearing and seeing me wear this cosplay very, very soon. I just gotta figure out how I wanna do that video. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the quick update. It was just about the web shooters and the new zippers and stuff. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this quick update video and I'll see you guys in the next one.